What if the Earth was the size of a basketball? Imagine holding Earth in your hands. Not metaphorically, literally. Imagine our entire planet, every continent, every ocean, every city, every single one of us, all wrapped up into a sphere just 24 centimeters across, about the size of a standard basketball, a world you could spin on your finger like a Harlem Globetrotter, except this time, your rotation could trigger hurricanes. It's a question that seems silly at first, like something a bored kid might dream up in class. But if you take it seriously, it becomes something entirely different, a doorway into the wildest extremes of physics, biology, and human imagination. So let's shrink our planet down and see what happens. First off, we have to establish the rules of this new mini-Earth. When we say the Earth is basketball size, do we mean it still has the same mass, just crammed into a smaller volume? That would make it a black hole, game over, sucked into the abyss. So let's say instead that everything scales down, mass, gravity, atmosphere, water, life, all in proportion. Earth is now a perfectly miniaturized version of itself, floating in space like a little blue marble. From a distance, it would still be beautiful. Oceans swirling, clouds drifting, continents glowing in the sunlight. But everything would be profoundly different. For starters, gravity. Gravity is directly related to mass. With a fraction of the original Earth's mass, our mini-Earth would have almost no gravity. Things would barely cling to the surface. Mountains would be millimeters tall, rivers thinner than human hairs. And you? You'd be microscopic. A subatomic speck compared to the basketball-sized world. Of course, humans can't really scale that small and survive. So in this world, we're imagining a completely shrunken-down version of everything, including us. Entire cities could fit inside a shoebox. Airplanes would be the size of ants. Your backyard would be a national park. And yet, to the residents of mini Earth, it would all feel normal. The sky would still seem vast, the oceans deep, the mountains high. Scale is relative. What's tiny to one creature is epic to another. But physics isn't just about size. It's also about how forces behave at different scales. With gravity weaker, everything would feel lighter. You could jump higher, throw things farther. But there's a catch. Atmospheric pressure would also be lower. The sky would be thinner. Weather patterns would be less intense, but also more chaotic. Storms wouldn't span continents. They'd sweep across whole hemispheres in minutes. Lightning bolts might strike entire cities at once. Rainfall could evaporate before it even hit the ground. The sun would still shine on our tiny world, but the way it heated things would be different. A small planet cools and heats more quickly. Day and night cycles would be more extreme. Deserts could freeze at night and boil by noon. Seasons would feel like mood swings. Life would have to adapt. Plants might grow faster or only survive for hours. Animals could live entire lifespans in a week. And speaking of life, would we even be human in the way we understand it? On such a small world, evolution might take a different route. With smaller bodies, smaller brains, maybe intelligence would be rare, or maybe it would evolve faster. Maybe civilizations would rise and fall in days, great empires forgotten before breakfast. Or maybe, just maybe, they'd be smarter than us. Tiny minds processing at lightning speed, building microscopic technologies we couldn't even see. Communication would be different too. On Earth, it takes hours to send a message around the world. On basketball, Earth, that message would arrive before you finished your sentence. With such a small surface area, cooperation might be easier. Global unity wouldn't be a dream. It'd be a necessity. A single natural disaster could affect everyone. A sneeze in one country would rattle the atmosphere of another. But the biggest change wouldn't be scientific. 
It would be philosophical. Living on a tiny world would make the fragility of life impossible to ignore. You could see the whole planet at once. No borders, no divisions, just one delicate ball floating in space. Maybe, just maybe, it would make us kinder, more connected, more aware of how precious everything is. Or maybe we'd just find new ways to mess it up, only faster. Still, there's something beautiful about the image. A miniature Earth, cradled in the hands of the cosmos. A reminder that, no matter the size, our world is extraordinary, not because it's big, but because it's alive. And who knows? Maybe somewhere out there, among the stars, there really is a basketball-sized planet with life. Maybe they've already figured out what we haven't. Or maybe they're just really, really good at dribbling.